changed this nation because you and me can partner, create ventures that are profitable, employ people who are jobless, and keep building. Let's do this. The purpose of this personal transformation talk is because we want to change this nation. This nation cannot be changed because Optile Limited was company number one in Kenya. No! We can't change it. But we can change this nation because you and me can partner, create ventures that are profitable, employ people who are jobless, and keep building. You know, I always tell people, you know, that the topic for tonight is power of a dream. Because we don't dream, we cannot create these ventures. And I use Optiven as an example. And I say, if Optiven did it, your venture can do it. Why? I am happy when I see people like you, because you are the guys who are going to change this nation. You are the people who are going to create opportunities for others. You know, I always say, in Kenya today, we are very busy creating universities, colleges, all over, and producing a lot of students. Yesterday I was at the USIU talking to MBA students, and I was challenging them, because out of the entire 100 students doing MBA, we had only two business people. And I told them, shame on you. Masters in business and administration, and you're looking for a job? You are supposed to create these opportunities. Why? Our children, where, where are they going to go? I'm not saying that career people, you stop your career, a job, and join Optivate, but I'm challenging you. Dream, you can work for that guy for 10 years. Later on, you just quit and start your own venture. Isn't it? For me, I worked for 10 years in the UN and other organizations. But now I'm here, isn't it? As you look at that dream, as you pursue it, you have to be very, very positive. They say, people who are positive minded, they perceive what you want to achieve in the mind, and you go for it. I remember the other day at Optive, we used to confess during our boardroom meetings and we were saying, we are peace setters in real estate across Africa. Then we were saying, we are the fastest growing real estate firm in Kenya. So one of my staff members asked, according to who? <laughs> By the way, Optive and some are very courageous. Eh? Laziness. Kuna watu tu ni wazembe. Tu? Listeners. Can you meet at 6, eh, 6 a.m.? No, 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 no. By 6 a.m. I'm asleep. <laughs> My friend. Look, I can hear two people driving 4 by 4 You are driving, driving your what? Toyota Plus. Because you have agreed to be lazy. Somebody was telling me that uh, this lady, uh, Michelle Obama, by 4.30, the lady is awake. Yet, she has everything, isn't it? And if you start the trend of people who are, who are movers, laziness is out of their vocabulary. Look at what the government is doing. Government is saying we have money, nobody to pick this money. We have 30% for the women and youth, and nobody is picking the money. We have 40% local content. Right now there is a lot of supply for, for the railway. They are looking for people to supply sand, people to supply ballast. And through Kenya private sector, we say, give this business to Kenyans. When I was I told them from my office, can you see the Uduma Center? Go there and ask. Don't allow those kind of things, idleness, like that, too frustration. You know, sometimes they go to Hulupa. Jamaa bwana kona guru na melana hako. I feel like whipping them. It is lack of using their software. Idleness. And if you allow idleness, my friend, you'll be opening your businesses late. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. I don't Idleness. It's a dangerous thing. Okay? It's a dream killer. Wanting to please everyone. George, are you coming? Yes. Can I meet you? Yes. My friend, you better learn how to say no. Sometimes you say no. People may not like you, but as they hate you, you're also developing, isn't it? What I'm Okay? I always give a story that uh, if you want to please everyone, you'll finish all your options, and they'll, tell, they'll say, that guy was very 
useless, isn't it? When you die, they tell you, ah, that guy was very useless. Today, we remember Moe Kibaki because of one thing, the kind of structure he did. So when you are out, when you are not here, how will you, how are we going to remember that Dolo was in Kenya? It's the legacy that we are going to leave this nation. So I am challenging you this evening. Whatever you do, please do something that leaves a mark in somebody's life. Do something that leaves a mark in the nation. Because all said and done, <laughs> I, I love the words of the Alexander the Great. When he was, uh, one time he was advancing in age and he called the top doctors and he told them, when I go home, I want my coffin, my heart to be out. And as you are escorting me to the grave, all my wares to be spread. I you are worried. And they say, why do you say so? He said, we came to this world naked and we leave this world naked. So all this wealth we are generating, by the way, the time you go, Mr. Keboy, to the Asha to Kula. So when you have it, part of it, do something. We have to invest some of the money, the books I'm selling. We are going to do issues of health, issues of environment. If you come to a project, we made a decision about it. That every project, we must have a green zone. Why? Today we are losing about 23 people every day on cancer. What will I do for Why? We have destroyed our environment. So if you don't do that, if George and you, we don't do that, it means the next 100 years, our children are going to be in a mess. Then we say, the issues of poverty alleviation. Of course, poor people will always be with us, as the Bible says. But you can do something small and change somebody's life, and that is the call. So as you go out there to work, as you do your business, make sure that part of that you are giving back to the community. So I think I will leave you with this. You, you can start something small, you keep thinking big, but don't procrastinate. Start now. Those ideas that you have, don't keep them. Implement them. If you implement them, it is possible to create an impact in this, in this nation. So business is purely networking. Business is purely relationship. Personally, I participate in many forums. Because I'm in real estate, I'm part of the Ladwood Committee and the Kenya Private Sector Alliance. We do business through those kind of forums. So as you plug in, I can link you up with various uh, people within the government ministries who are looking for people like you to help them develop softwares, to help them. Right now, government is talking about e-government, isn't it? All over e-government. Because they want to do away with this kind of uh, uh, print uh, advertising. And today, if you're looking for jobs in the government, it's all on them in our phones, isn't it? How do we survive in this generation whereby you do a tender and somebody is asking for a flight, isn't it? Do you know something called Huduma Center? I have sent several people there and I know there are fellows who are fired because of asking for a flight. Because if you don't say no to this kind of bribes, we encourage them. And by the way, if they know that you know, they avoid asking you for a flight. But if they know you do not know, you ask for that flight. I'm sure today you, you, there are some fellows, very senior guys, they were caught red-handed pocketing billions of our money, taxpayers' money. And you can imagine what is going to happen. So the change has to start with that.